Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing not one but two Scuf Instinct Pro controllers. Scuf is one of the more well-known modded controller brands out there but this was my first experience with the company. The Scuf Instinct Pro controllers start at £200 and feature remappable paddles, profile switching, interchangeable thumbsticks and swappable faceplates. However they can be customised further visually on the website which I'll showcase towards the end of the video but of course this does result in an additional cost. In this video we're going to be unboxing both a standard £200 steel grey base version and also a customised cherry blossom version as well. As you can probably tell already, the unboxing experience is simply fantastic. The packaging looks great with the controller safely stored within a beautifully textured box. Upon opening the box, the controller is displayed at the forefront in all of its glory. The Scuf Instinct Pro controllers work wirelessly via Bluetooth or wired via USB Type-C. This means it can work with the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Windows, Mac and even iOS. We are also also given an accessories box and of course the lovely standard paperwork. The accessories box includes a really nice braided and branded USB Type-C cable, long and short domed interchangeable thumbsticks and even some batteries as well. And to be fair, even the user manual is really handy thanks to its clear wording and diagrams. With everything unboxed, we can finally take a closer look at the Steel Grey Scuff Instinct Pro. Whilst the front of the controller looks quite like the standard Xbox Series X controller, aside from the handy mic mute button at the bottom of course, the back is where the magic happens. On the back we can see the high performance grips, four remappable paddles and the switches to change between full travel triggers and instant mouse click style triggers as well. As for ports, the Instinct Pro of course has a USB Type-C port, headphone jack and the peripheral expansion port. It's also worth mentioning that the controllers come with a 6 month warranty. Also on the back of the controller you have the profile switching button to change between various preset bindings. So just to recap with the Instinct Pro, you are getting the controller itself, user manual, batteries, extra thumbsticks and of course the lovely braided cable. But now let's move on to controller number 2. I designed this controller myself through their website and I'm really happy with how it turned out. There are a plethora of options available to truly make your controller personalised and unique. This Cherry Blossom Instinct Pro is a beaut so let's take a closer look at the details. As we can see this controller also has the same paddles, trigger switches and textured grips but in a completely new colourway. Now it's hard to portray through the camera but the build quality is simply fantastic. There are no strange creaking sounds and all of the buttons feel great, especially the scuff thumbsticks. The paddles and switches on the back are well placed so that you don't accidentally press them but also very comfortable to use when you wish to do so. Although it did take me some time to get used to it. And that pretty much covers the Instinct Pro controllers at face value but now let's dive in and check out some of their features. First up we can get two birds with one stone by removing the faceplate and replacing the thumbsticks. Thankfully this could not be any easier. The faceplate simply lifts up and then you pull the old thumbsticks out and push the new ones in. This means if you get bored of your controller's design you can simply buy a new faceplate and wabam it's just like new. Next up we have the remappable paddles and how to create your own configuration. To be fair the manual does a great job at explaining this but to showcase it to you guys as well simply enter your desired profile by tapping the profile button on the back and then hold it down to enter the remapping mode. Once there, hold down the button you wish to remap along with the chosen paddle on the back at the same time, and then once you're done simply press the profile button on the back to exit the process. You can for example bind boost to one of the paddles in Rocket League to free up your thumb for another binding on the front of the controller, the possibilities here are practically endless. And thanks to the profile switching you can have one preset for FPS games, one for racing and so on. Moving on we also have the trigger switches, and for first person shooters these make a a huge difference. By default the triggers have quite a long travel time before the actual shot is fired, whereas if you flick the switch you get a practically instantaneous mouse click style response time. And yes it might only save milliseconds but those milliseconds could be the difference between clutching the game or dying trying. The Scuf Instinct Pro is truly designed from the ground up to give you the competitive edge. And we're not done yet, we've also got the optional Scuf Instinct Player Pack which contains a case, 3 meter braided USB Type-C cable, a pack of thumbsticks and 
and even some gamer grip, whatever that is. This pack costs about £40, so it is on the pricey side, but having a case to protect your controller is especially useful if you often travel around with it. Taking a closer look, the long 3 meter braided cable is really nice to have and does feel premium quality. The thumbstick pack includes one short domed and one concave, as well as one long domed and one long concave as well. And then we have the gamer grip, which honestly smells just like minty toothpaste, but supposedly gives you a non-sticky but strong grip on the controller for when you need to try hard beyond imagination. What you're seeing now is the website builder for the Scuf Instinct Pro controllers. There are a load of options, colours and designs to choose from to truly make the controller your own. It's also worth mentioning that you can also customise various other controllers, including PS4 and PS5 controllers if that is your preference. I'd love to see what designs you can come up with, so head over to the link in the description, design your own and share it with the Scorpio Tech Discord community. Although expensive, I could quite easily recommend the Scuf Instinct Pro controllers if you're in the market for a high-end controller to give you the competitive edge. I've tested a lot of controllers recently including the Xbox Elite Series 2 Core and the Hex Gaming Ultra X and although the most expensive I definitely feel like you get what you pay for with Scuf. The paddles are well shaped and placed, the controller feels fantastic in hand thanks to its build quality and the remapping process is as simple as can be, not to mention all of the extras the controller comes with. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.